Hi, John. Shay Carl here. Thank Quick posted a link up to one of his videos just last night. And it was a link that I went to have a look at. And it was on for 2 hours and 40 minutes. One of the best two hours and forty minutes that I've spent watching something in in a while. The only thing is, it is something that I've been thinking about just recently, but there has to be a but, doesn't there? The but is we all want a better world. We all want to earn more money. We all want to have a better life. And at the moment in time, the only way to have a better life is to earn money, one way or another. But I've found in this little old world, there is so much corruption. Dog eat dog. I have, I have witnessed, I have been a part of being stepped on. I have been the dog that has been eaten. I've earned money, I've made money, which is gone now. But I never once had to stand on anybody. I never had to swindle anybody. I never had to take money unless it was earned for. But there's this word, utopia. I want a utopia. Have you seen the film, The Village? Uh, I do have it, but I don't want to spend the time looking for it. Uh, so, The Village is a film... Oh, oh there it is. You might recognise it. It's got Jacques, Jacquin, is it, is it Jacquin Phoenix? Uh, Adrian Brody, William Hurt, Sigourney Weaver. They all live in an ideal village in America, surrounded by a big wall. It's owned by a multi-billionaire. But all these people that lived in the village, they've all experienced something bad, really bad in their lives. Just like communism. The first people that were part of communism, they experienced something so drastic and so horrible with the iron fist and death camps and work camps, believe or die. But the children had a wonderful life. I can speak for Bulgaria, a lot of the other communist countries, it didn't work. It didn't work because people had the iron fist and they wanted all the money. In Bulgaria it wasn't like that, it worked. The children, who are now 60, 70 years old, had a wonderful life. They had, to, they had to take part in what was going on. Uh, but they did have a wonderful life. Things like... We all know that it's a fact that if you buy a television in three or four years time it's going to be way outdated or something inside is going to break and you can't replace it, it's going to be worth of what the cost of a new television would be, so you just end up throwing it away and rebuying something new, which is good for the companies because they get to earn more money. When I first came to Bulgaria, if something broke, you went to your DIY shop and you bought a little piece and put it on and it worked. Whether it was radio, television, a, a drill, it doesn't matter. They had something to fix it with. But nowadays, when I go to the DIY shop, you can still buy your screws in singles or in tens. But you can't replace stuff that is broken without having to buy new. So I was watching this film for 2 hours and 40 minutes. And it was really good. And now I did watch it and think to myself, it's propaganda. Sometimes can't prop can propaganda be a good thing? When used in the right way. Now this guy... Uh, well, the idea is called Zeist or something like that. It might be a German word. There's an architect who wouldn't pledge his allegiance to the flag of the child that he grew up, still became an architect, still became a businessman. But his ideas are to live a better life, whether that be in, in a in a house that's underground for the heating or with solar panels or with windmills close by. Uh, and he has a utopia, a city that's built with a central core, people living on the outside with forests and everybody lives inside and it's all... Next time you go to the shopping centre, when you go to Walmart or somewhere like that, look at the labels of the things that you're buying, the clothes, whether it's uh, in the children's aisle, 
everything is made in China. Everything. Now that's just a statement on its own, but those people have got jobs and are working for very little money. But what about your brother? Hmm? Is she working? Is he working? What about your grandmother? Is he working? Are people working? Lucky to have jobs these days. Everybody's lucky to have a job whether you've got one. Most people don't have jobs. Now here, when the wife was working in uh, the local bar, she was earning a total of $10 per day. When one loaf of bread costs $1 a day. No figure. So, she had to, now that's per day. It's not per hour. Ten dollars divided by fifteen hours a day working. Sixty six cents per hour. Would you work for sixty cents per hour? I think not. Now, I have a couple of ideas. I do see myself as a an entrepreneur. I do see myself as an entrepreneur. But I'm an entrepreneur who has no money anymore. Because they invested it. They invested it into houses. Uh, which I can't afford to keep anymore. Because the idea was to build and sell. But it didn't work out. It didn't pan out. So I've got them. As long as I can pay the tax, everything should be okay. So, I am an entrepreneur who has no money. And I want to be an entrepreneur who doesn't make much money but can give better lives to people. What, what I mean by that is I want... So, for example, I wanted to dig big trenches and put pipes inside and then have them going into the house and then ventilate the house for the summer. Ventilating the house. Uh, and it not cost anything besides the initial fee of doing the dig and putting the pipes in. My goal for 2012 is to have a bicycle. I've got the bicycle, but now I want the front wheel with a motor and a battery. Because I don't want to drive a car anymore. I want to be able to go out on a bike, cycle with that aid of electricity powered motor, and it only cost me the tinky only cost me cents to be able to get there and back. As it happens, we have to scrap the car now because the car is becoming uh, useless to us. It's becoming more expensive than its use. It's always parked up. We don't go anywhere because uh, we don't have money. But but even if we did have some money, we don't need it. There are buses that we can use, and the cost of the bus for two people is the same what it would cost to go in the car. The only thing is you can bring shopping home. I can, I can get the shop in at the same price in the village than I do than I go to the big town. So I do have ideas of making the world a better place. Now I was watching this film by uh, this guy who's the architect, and he's got this utopian world which will be a perfect and ideal. But then you've got the problem of the governments and the money makers and the corruption within the investing and and so on, and I've been part of the investing, and I've seen the corruption that goes on, the lies and the deceit. If you are investing into anything, you are going to lose 20 to 30 percent of your investment immediately as soon as you sell it. Because of the guy who's doing the investing for you, is taking that as a percentage. Whether you know it or not, whether you read the small print or not, he's going to take that. And if you take it earlier, you will lose a bigger percentage if you take that investment back. So this film that I was watching was very, very good. Very, very good. I wanted to jump into the screen and just grab people and shake them and say, you don't need these security prisons, the private companies floating on the stock market. Um, there is other ideas, but there's no money to be made in these ideas because this is a world that's born upon earning money. In God we trust. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, whether the film is propaganda, I can't really speak for that because I'm not clued up enough to know exactly what propaganda is. I've got an idea. I'm not. I'm not a conspiracy theorist.
I don't believe in a lot of conspiracy theories. I, I have an idea of what I think it is, but I won't push that upon you. The Twin Towers, for example. Do I believe this, this, or this? What I believe is what I believe, and I cannot push that upon you. I will not push that upon you, because it's not my business to do that, and I'm too good-natured to do that. So if I had the money now, I would be selling solar panels. I'd be knocking on doors and selling solar panels at the cheapest possible price, installing them at the cheapest possible price, making a small amount of money, putting that in the bank to buy more, and start again for the next day, and the next day, and the next day, because I want every house to have a solar panel on its roof. I want everybody to have electric cars. I want everybody to have a bicycle instead, because it's, it's healthier. You're out there, you're breathing, and everything's coming out of your dirty lungs. Do you know, just to travel, I would be happy with one of these stable children's scooters, one leg, push, press the button, electricity, and off I go. And off I go. The amount of times I go down into the village centre in the car because I'm lazy sometimes. It's ridiculous. And, and the amount of money that it would cost for me to go on the scooter and look, look a little bit silly to the other people who see me going around. But eventually, it's like vlogging, holding the camera out like this. Eventually, people are going to see it as a norm, just like when people were wearing the mobile phones around the neck and hanging here. It's the norm now. It will be the norm eventually. Um, to have a, in fact, there's a boy in the village who has been lucky enough to have his, his mountain bike, and he's got himself a little petrol engine, something like a chainsaw engine, but, but not so noisy. I've seen them; they're a hundred and fifty dollars on, on eBay. You strap it to your bike, you put it, you connect it to your back wheel, put one li one liter of uh, petrol inside, and away you go. You've got yourself transport. It can take you almost anywhere you want to go within a short space of time and back again. One day it'll be normal. But at this moment in time it's not. And it's not going to be normal for a while. <sighs> so what can we do? Learn. We can definitely learn from the other people's experiences and try and drag down the prices of these things so that we can afford to do them. I'm going to leave the link to this film and let me see what you think of it and what you would want to do.